Welcome everybody to a brand new 6K special. Welcome to the good, the bad, and the hopeless. I find out what's good, what's better, what's bad, and what's absolutely hopeless. And this is the first contender. A 155 mile an hour Mercedes convertible. At the moment I'm driving in London because I don't have a Riviera or Monte Carlo or something like that in Gran Turismo because that will be the ultimate place try a cabrio like this. However, the roof is down, which means it isn't a glamour car. Sure, you get 500 horsepower from a supercharged V8 engine. You get a big Mercedes M and you get four exhausts. get that soundtrack. But it's a Mercedes. And driving around in a big white Mercedes is a bit embarrassing. So let's turn it out of attracting girls mode and into petrol head mode. And its driver is mad too. Ha ah, ha! Now check it out. Oh god. Get away stupid ghost. I'm not really talking because I'm too much I'm giggling too much about this stupid Mercedes. God it's fun though. Whoa, whoa. Yes, that's what happens when you put 500 horsepower in the car and all the driver rigs off. I'll turn the ASM on so I can talk a bit more about the car. You see, it's very fast, but it's limited to 155 miles an hour. And why have they done that? To save money and so on. But it's still not really what you call cheap. About 150,000 euros. The most worrying thing, though, about the SL is that it's a bit over. 
taken by the competition. You see, these days, nearly every car maker launches a car with a steel roof folding. It does that. So we can go on. As I said, every car maker is launching a folding roof metal thing. And Ferrari, even Ferrari, have done so in the California. I recently compared it to a Ferrari 430 Spider on the regular six gear. But I didn't drive it, that's one. And still, it's different in the game I was playing. Which is called Supercar Shit. Uh, challenge, I meant. Normal M3 tyres, they seem to be more realistic according to the makers of Gran Turismo. So who am I to complain about that? Firstly, the Ferrari looks gorgeous. Merck was already mad in this stage. Secondly, the Ferrari feels so much faster. Then there's the sound. The Mercedes growls very aggressively. But would you just listen to them? What is this thing, mate? Mercedes has got a V8 engine, but no 5.5 litre one, just 4.3. However, difference in power, only 50 horsepower, and the Ferrari just feels so much more nimble and light. And it uses its power so well. Now this car's kind of bigger brother, the 430, is quite dangerous when you turn the traction control off. This isn't though. This lets you drive it. That was my fault. See the California. It's much more calm than the Ferrari uh, 430. It's not more boring though. It's just more accessible to more people. Yeah, I can't really compare this to the Merc because the Ferrari, as this one lifts, it's prettier, it's faster, it sounds much better. But then the Ferrari is a lot newer. And the other problem the Ferrari has, just being uh, other advantage the Ferrari has, is that it's about twice as expensive as the Mercedes. I'll be back.